Hi, I'm Garrett Richards, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to throw a slider. For me, I hold the ball. If you see, there's a horseshoe. I hold my I hold the ball on the in, outside of the horseshoe, with my with my finger or my thumb tucked right underneath on the back side of the seam. Now my thought process on this pitch is to throw it out in front and almost let my fingers work over the front side of the baseball. So you'll feel your fingers work over the front side of the baseball. If you feel your fingers working on the side of the baseball, it's not going to do anything. So really feel your fingers work over the front and top side of the baseball. Now when throwing this pitch, if you have good control with it, you can throw it as an 0-0 pitch, an 0-1 pitch. You can throw this pitch in any count. Typically a slider is going to be a strikeout pitch because it looks like a fastball and then the last five feet or so breaks off the table to make it a slider. Like that. I throw my slider as a strikeout pitch or a pitch early in the count if there's a guy who's going to be potentially swinging first pitch or a guy who's just bad on swinging at breaking balls. So for me, this is a huge pitch. When you set your sights on your slider, depending on how much your ball breaks, for me it's important to pick out a spot on the catcher's body to start the ball at and then have it finish wherever you need it to. It's called the focal point. That's my tip on how to throw a slider, and I'll see you at the ballpark.